You can hang your coat over there. Yeah, thanks. this reference <laughs> reference to what my field of study <sighs> they must have thought it was relevant why else would I be here so this is supposed to be your desk it was supposed to be but I like AC I see <clears throat> What are you reading? Your file. So what should I call you? My friends call me Cleveland. Do you even remember the last time you had a friend? I don't know. Why don't you consult the file? It doesn't say. Well, maybe there's more to a man than what's written down. Maybe. But it does say some other things here. Oh yeah? Like what? It says here, advanced interrogation. Ever work at Gitmo? You know you can't ask me that. I know you have a temper. It says so right here. So? So, I'm just putting together my own file of you. <laughs> what, you fucking with me? I think we got off on the wrong foot. So, is this your first time working for the company? Yeah. Get your feet off my desk. You want to give me a hand with those boxes? on Chinese medicine. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Mr. Ohio, good to see you again. You don't know me. Well, I know this doesn't look like much, but it's all we need. And remember, the body is simply energy. Nothing more, nothing less. So what's our objective? To maintain the energy. You are about to witness some very strange things. Your eyes will never be the same. I don't know if I signed up for this. You signed up for more than you'll ever know. Are you ready, Mr. Ohio? We begin now. Next, huh? 
What's next? What is this, round two? I'll kill you all, you know. I'll kill you all! from we are allowed to ask that Cleveland Ohio you Madison Wisconsin yeah oh I get it now that's why they call you Cleveland nice work detective so do you mind if I call you Maddie no Good. So what's all the paperwork, Cleveland? Studying something. What? You'll see soon enough. Oh, I forgot. We're in the super secret club. Well, you don't seem to get it. I, I don't even know what you're doing here yet. Didn't you read my file? Yeah, Chinese medicine. Qi. Qi? Yeah. Uh, what's that? In language you might understand, it's blood flow. Beyond that, it's the soul, the spirit, the energy of man. That's great. You, you have any idea what we're going to do to this guy? No. It's not pretty. What happens? Well, first, they go insane. And then their heads explode. <laughs> just like that? Yeah. Just like that. I wonder how long it took them to find you. What? I've never met one like you before. What do you mean? Well, you don't give a shit. Yeah, see, most of you, uh... New Age types are all about the oneness and the this and the that with the universe, but you don't care. All that oneness with the world and caring about others doesn't really work when you don't care about yourself. Ah, I see. Damaged goods. Yeah. So where'd they find you, prison? Berkeley. Oh, what's the matter? A professor flunk you even after you fucked him? You're not going to get a rise out of me. Have you ever watched somebody die? No. But I passed all tests to get here, so it can't be that bad. So you want to tell me what exactly we're supposed to be doing here? It's an experiment. About what? PTSD. Is that what this is all about? Some sophomore philosophy on post -traumatic... When they drove you in here, did you notice anything about the gates? What do you mean? Anything about the gates. Anything unusual. They were tall. Yeah. And did you feel maybe a funny little tingly sensation? I guess so. Electromagnetic fields. What? This place. These walls. Within these walls, it's a controlled environment. What do you mean? I mean control. Ultimate control. A absolute control beyond space and time. You're out of your mind. Fertile ground for testing your chi. <laughs> I guess that makes me your orientation. You're nothing. Just a guy with a couple of boxes with shit inside. I should probably tell you that you're being graded on this one. What do you mean? Well, anything less than an A+, plus, and they kill you.
what is really going on here? I thought I was signing up for a simple experiment. Thought, come in, I'll do a moral survey. Play along, right? Right down the middle. Stay on as long as I can so I can keep making money to pay for my dissertation. Is that how I got into this sick shit? By pretending I didn't care? Listen, you can't fool the test. You really don't care about life and death. That's why you're here. So stop pretending. Are you going to shoot me? Not if you do your job. What is my job? I don't even know what it is. What am I supposed to be doing? It's chi, right? Yeah. So, in a few minutes, you'll be able to see a guy on your screen there. Now, he won't be able to see you, but he will be able to hear you and talk to you, and you'll be able to talk to him. Yeah. And you're gonna have to keep him calm while his head explodes. What? All right. Unlock the door. You forgot my boots, you assholes. Well, answer him. Yes. Yes, it is. Who are you? Just have a seat. Rest for a little while. What do I do next? We wait. What is this? My name is Lieutenant Dan. Don't let him tell you his name. I have a wife and We're two ready daughters. To begin. What do I do? You don't have to do anything. So what now? Just keep waiting. So this is just a big waiting game? I don't understand. He's not bound to the chair yet. He sits there. He's military. They always make the best subjects. He's sitting there because that's what he was told to do. It says here combat experience. Extensive. What is this all about? Hey, hey, get me out of here. I, I can't see straight. I'm so tired. Get me out of here. Please remain calm. Go to hell. Did you see anything? What? No. Was I supposed to see something? There's nothing Sh there. Shut up, shut up. Help me. Somebody help me. It's here. You locked me in here with it. Please elaborate. You locked me in here with him. Help me. Just keep him calm. There's nothing in there. What is it? 
the boogeyman? In a matter of speaking, yes. Shit! I see something! Good. It's about to begin. My boots! Somebody took my boots! My feet are so cold! <laughs> it's alive. It's alive! What do you see? I will kill you, Paul. It's time. I have never seen such psychokinetic energy. My dear, your mind is the most powerful one I've ever seen. You, you, you took their energy and just channeled it back against them before they could kill you. You didn't even know you were a target. My dear, you are a very valuable weapon. But we need to hurry. Your second exposure is about to begin. <laughs> 